I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I need to spend some time on this jackknife too. I need to sharpen it. So following something that was attributed to Lincoln, if I'm tasked with the job of cutting down a tree in six hours, I'm going to spend the first four sharpening my axe. This little sharpening stone that are made out of a piece of sandstone actually works pretty good. See if it made a difference. Oh yeah. Well, it didn't take four hours, but definitely made it easier to cut this poplar. I use my jackknife for all kinds of things and not all of them are what the thing was designed to do. So I'm a little abusive to the edge. There we go. a certain satisfaction of making your own tools. You get to make them exactly the way you want them. If you don't like them, you just make a different one. That should work. Now while that's setting up, I'll cut my braces.
It's going to be a close approximation, but not a perfect fit. But I think that's okay. A little protective piece down here to protect my bench. Although, the paint on the bench is sadly damaged already. It's been less than a month since I repainted it. But, it's a tool and I use it and it gets damaged in the process, but that's okay. Put some glue on there, set that up against this. Line up my lines. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna need a new bottle of glue. This is getting pretty old. It still works. Still sets up just fine. But it's getting to the point where, first off, I'm running out of it. And second, it's gonna stop working. Because it's running like water. These are some cheap clamps that I pick up at Harbor Freight. You have to watch them because they are cheap clamps. I expect to have to do quality control on them because I recognize that I'm paying very little for them. That should function. Now it has to set up for a while. But that's okay, I got other things to do. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm gonna go off and do other things, but then this video has probably run long enough for a while. We'll pick it up again when I take off the clamps and sand things down and get the grinding wheels mounted on it. In the meantime, in the meantime, if you have any suggestions for a new video, 
questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. This is gonna work out pretty good. I'm kinda happy about being able to use up some junk materials. And I think it's gonna make a nice little deal for George to work with. Thanks for watching.